today is gonna be a good one. This is a super controversial topic in the snowmobile community right now. It is riding with a can or a loud exhaust. You guys are no strangers to my channel. You guys know that I ride with a can on every single sled I own, and that sparks a lot of controversy on my channel and causes a lot of people to hate me. When I posted my exhaust video of putting the GGB mountain can on my program create 850, all the snowmobile forums and Facebook pages were blowing up with my video. People talking shit, slandering me, this and that, telling me to stay off their trails and I'm an idiot and all this other stuff. Now, why is this such a big deal? Let's start with that. It's such a big deal to some people because they're worried about losing trails, this and that, landowners getting pissed. I understand your concern. Like, I get it. Like, you don't want to lose the trails because if you lose a section of trail, then you got to ride the road or you just might not be able to connect and you don't have that trail anymore. I get it. But what the people coming at me don't understand is I'm not the only one with a can. I'm not the only one that goes to the Upper Peninsula of Michigan and rides with an exhaust. Please go sit at a stop sign in the UP in the heart of the season. Count how many sleds pass by with an aftermarket exhaust and tell me I'm not the only one that rides with one. You guys on YouTube act like I am the only person that rides with a can. I'm the only person that's a douchebag, obnoxious, this and that. There's groups of people that have cans of 10 tall sleds. I understand why some of you guys like to come at me and say I'm the reason for trails closing, this and that. In reality, I'm not the only one with a can. Maybe it's because I'm a 20 year old kid that does YouTube and has some really nice things for my age. I don't know, but I do know one thing's for sure. It's not just me. Why do I ride with a can? You guys are probably wondering why I ride with a can. The sound of a two-stroke snowmobile with an aftermarket exhaust is unbeatable. Like, I just love the sound of a sled when you crack the throttle and you have like a mountain can or a race can on. It's a just, I don't know, it's music to my ears and I love it. Also, the weight savings, I mean, that's not really like a big factor. More so, I just like the sound. But when you're saving nine to 11 pounds, that's also a big deal. When you factor in the weight of the total sled, you subtract 11 pounds. Really, after you subtract all that, my ProArm K is sub 400 pounds, which is pretty cool. In the end, it is basically just because I like the sound. Fun fact, I have been riding with the can for five years on my sleds. I have been through three DNR stops, and not once have they said anything about the exhaust on any of my sleds. Two of them were in the Upper Peninsula of Michigan, and one of them was in Southwest Lower Michigan. Respectful with my can for the most part, like going through towns, populated areas, I'm not wide open throttle off, wide open throttle off, brapping up and down the roads, doing donuts in parking lots. Like, I'm a very respectful person with my can for the most part. It's people that aren't respectful and piss off landowners that are the issue. It's all about respect at the end of the day. This topic always gets me fired up because this causes the most hate on my channel and literally like, people come at me hard with this. I get DMs about it. People trash talking me on all the snowmobile forums, Facebook pages, this and that. Like, I don't let it affect me because I'm gonna do what I want. I'm gonna keep making content and that's how it's gonna be. Don't blame me for your trails getting shut down because it wasn't just me. Go out and see how many cans are out there for yourself then you'll realize it's not just me. Right, that's a wrap on today's video. I want you guys to drop your thoughts down below in the comments. I'm gonna read these comments and respond. I am really bad at comments, but this video, I really wanna respond and just hear your honest opinions on it. Just a thumbs up on this video if you liked today's video. I realize about 97% of you guys are not subscribed on the channel that are watching, so I don't know what you're doing if you don't see the subscribe button or what, but go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you're not already subscribed. Catch you guys in the next video. Peace out. I ain't trippin' back no beach, no, I ain't crashin' back no hoes. Man, I rock out with these glizzes like I rock out at the show. Heard you crashin' back.